Hi everyone, it's Sherry with Blessed Baubles, and I'm really glad you're here because today I have loads and loads of craft jewelry, all wearable lots of jewelry, and a mixture in between. So stick around if you're a crafter, or even if you're looking for big lots of jewelry, all in a bunch, this is the place to be, okay? Let me let you know how to purchase. Just email me at capecodebaygirl at gmail.com. Let me know the video name with the episode number, the timestamps of when your jar or something shows up, or you can just give me the name of the jar. You don't have to give me a timestamp if it's named. A brief description and the price given, okay? So let's get a rolling. Also, I'd like to invite you to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'm not a very technological person, can't even say the word, but um, I seem to be doing okay with my little subscribe sign. It's become a little bit iconic on the channel, so we just don't want to get rid of it. So please subscribe. Hit the like button if you like the video. The like button, your comments, they all are so supportive of the channel. Every little bit that you do lets YouTube know that you like the content and it'll bring it back around and show it to you again, and it'll boost us up a little bit in our channel. So every time you can, hit the like button, subscribe, and hit the bell so you'll be notified of any next videos. And thank you so much. Again, every time you watch, every time you comment, I appreciate it with all of my heart. So thank you for that. Okay, so today is Saturday. I don't know when I'll launch this video, but most of you are having rain today, and we are too. The wind is whipping, the gutters might start making a noise in a minute. So I don't have some nice, lovely storm playing in the background. <laughs> this is a, the real deal. So that's what you're hearing, and let's get them open. I think the first thing I'm gonna do is build this craft jar named Callie, and this is named Callie for Halla, H-A-L-L-A. -L -L One of my subscribers asked me to name it Callie. That doesn't mean it's her jar, it just means that's what the name is. And uh, we have a lot of fun with this. It might seem silly to some, but for one, it's really easy for me to find the jars when they have a name. And for two, it's really fun for me to get names in the comments from all of you. I do write them all down, and I do use them on the jars and on the bags. So thanks for having fun with us on this. So let's get filling jar Callie. I think Callie is going to be filled with maybe all single earrings, because I've got a ton of them. And as you know, single earrings can have some wonderful, some wonderful uh, materials on them. First we have a vintage bell. A lot of these have nothing wrong with them. They just are single. Oh, no, this is a pair. This is actually a pair of vintage Santas. That's cute. Anyway, they go in. These, I got a lot of them in a lot recently, and I don't know what they are. They're kind of, uh, they're silver metal with red wooden balls on them. Look how cute this guy is. He's missing his pin. This is some kind of cuff link. It looks cool. Then we have little earrings. The other earring right here, so that's a pair. This looks to be a pair, probably just a little on the thin side. So actually a pair on those, single. This, I don't know what it was, but it's got one pretty stone left and a pearl, so if you need that. Then I have these purple earrings. One of the backs came off. Probably have well, these are earrings, but I'll probably have several rings in this lot, too. This is a nice-looking pair of earrings, but lost one of the wires, and yeah, I just don't have time always to find everything. Then we've got these little frosty earrings. There might be pairs. See how there's a gold pair there? This is a back of a clip-on. Here's one of the little rings. These earrings are pretty. They're leaves. We've got another little Christmas theme. Here's your other bell. So again, nothing wrong with them. They're quite cute. And 
then we've got some little studs and pearls. And this is so pretty. I was upset to not have the other one because it's so cute. Little tiny yellow stone. That looks like a CZ, I think it is. Little heart something. Again, some more little earrings. This has some enamel coming off. And some other bits and pieces. Looks like a couple of earrings. This is cute, it was a pin. All hand painted, adorable. And some more single earrings. So let's continue with the single earrings on our Cali jar. Because I'm telling you, I've got a bunch over here. So these are just hanging on, but this is a real shell. We've got some single gold tone copper hoop earrings. Probably the other one. Look at all this stuff. Look how beautiful that one is. Oh, Single earrings again, and some bits and bobs as well. This is really pretty. Single earring. Some kind of gummy bear earring. And it's stuck to a couple of other things. Oh, wait a minute. This looks like one of the earrings that I need. <laughs> Oopsie. That's what happens when things stick together sometimes. Yeah, I think I have the other one of these. Oh, I'm not sure. What does it say on the back? Oh, it has like those two B's. And I can't think of the maker. But I'm going to hold on to that one. It's nothing special. It's not like a real gem. Just, I think maybe I might have the other one. So this is a bits and bobs. This is a lovely brooch. Broken back. A yellow. Here's that gummy bear with some kind of earring hook. And this guy. This is really pretty. Weaver back. I forgot to feed my kitty cats before I came on. This is a cutie. It is just unwinding on the thread. And it is marked, I think, bobble bar. All right, I better come back because I forgot to feed Bolty and he's going to come up on the table. Bolty, are you going to crash the video? Are you? Let me move some things because if you want to come say hi, I'll let you this one time. Some cool singles. Let me dig to the bottom what the real sparkly stuff is like this. Beautiful crystals, butterflies, enamel. Some kind of button. Look at the fish in the bag. Too much crystals. Very nice. This is a pair of silver tone earrings. Quite heavy. Lovely crystal on there. Chunky earring. That's a cool guy. And some more little guys. Um, little crystal in that rose. Enamel, another bell, a twisty earring. So hopefully, out of all of this, you can get some good stuff. Let's see, where were those beads? I always like to add some super nice stuff to the lot as well. Okay, these are super beautiful glass beads. I think they might even be amethyst. Let me take a peek with Miss Percy because I love to put in wonderful special things. They do feel very cold. I can't remember what they came off of. Maybe a bracelet or something. But in the meantime, let me keep reaching into the single earring bag. We've got a ring, a blue crystal and shell, little clip on buddy some hoopies, some useful pieces, other earrings, almost knocked it over. This looks like an oldie, really cute. That's a cutie. 
or rhinestone, a black one. This looks like some kind of special ring thing. Ringy thingy dingy. This is a nice long earring. And that's a nice piece. Can you hear that wind howling? Wow. Let me test some of these. That's glass. But this is amethyst. And that's crystal glass. It's hard with that. So tiny. This is amethyst. Okay, so the chips and all the round pieces here are all amethyst. Here, let me take out the crystals. And these are all genuine amethyst pieces, okay? So I'll put that bunch together in a little bag and put it in this jar. So I think that might be fun for someone. That way you won't have to go fishing all over for them and you'll know what they are. Okay, so that goes in. Oopsie, don't want to lose a thing. I better feed Bolty. You won't know. I'll be gone one second, but you won't even know. Wow, the wind is howling. Just so you have some more special beads. I have this guy, this cool, feels like clay or ceramic, and then some more colorful pieces. Come on, guys, you gotta go in the jar. And this feels like, feels like Bakelite. And then these are all glass, so very cold. Yes, they're all glass, so those will go in too. So I hope you're getting excited about crafting with that. And I'll put in a chain. And back to some more single earrings. Okay, we've got some. Hmm, can have a necklace with that, but only one. You can't do anything with, well, you can wear one earring. There's lots of people that have, like me, I have my ears pierced once on each ear and then twice on my left ear. So a lot of times these are good for people that have those kind of piercings, except I have to wear either silver or gold or it bothers my ears. Here's a beautiful tie clip, nothing wrong with that. And I loved that. I love these earrings. What was wrong with this? I wish I had the time to fix it because I can think of a lot of necklaces that would go great with, but it's okay. There's some useful pieces, or either that's one of those threader earrings. This is an oldie. Lovely rhinestone in the middle. Some white pieces, probably the other little pearl. Oh, look at that guy. And then we've got this one. Some moons and stars. It takes a long time to fill up with earrings, doesn't it? Look at that beauty, right? Oh, love it. Okay, this one, my son and I were like, what the heck? What the heck? Okay, that's just ew. That is ew. Nice sun piece. Lots of wires that you could use. Oh, this was cute. This is a hammer earring, adorable. And this is a lovely little clip-on, gold tone. I think that's all we can fit in here. But I do want you to see this gorgeous crystal earring. Oh, bye, honey, I love you. Another bezel set crystal. So there you go. This is our start of the craft stuff. I'm gonna give it a shake. And this is Craft Cali. All right, a lot of single earrings. I feel like stuff could fit down in there. Let me try. No, it just won't. Okay, so there you go, Craft Jar Cali. And I'll say 20 on that one. So if you love Craft Jar Cali, just let me know. 
that you want this jar for $20, okay? I'm just going to put this over the top just for now, but I'll put a nice piece of bubble wrap over and wrap it up nicely, okay? We got one down. We got a lot to go. This might have to be two videos. Okay, Craft Cory. And this jar is named for Sheila. So here's Sheila. Here is your girl Cory name. And thanks, Sheila, for always being so sweet, watching my videos, leaving me comments. I appreciate you a lot. Okay, here's some other heartbreakers, but there's only one earring. In they go to the Cory jar. Maybe you can see as I'm just pulling these out so we can move along. We've got silver tone, some chains. This looks like an ear thing. Ear thing, I'm sorry, but there's the other thread or earring. Oh, maybe I can get that into the other jar so you can have the pair if you're interested. Yes, I can, and I did. Yay. We've got a hoop. Look how pretty this is. I really wish I could find the other one of that. Then we've got, look at this guy. Oh, oh, oh. Love that one. And a piece of silver something. That's a cutie. And a pink one. Lots of little stud earrings. Another bell. Some more little pieces. Some little, I think there's two of these. They're kind of red, white, and blue with some dolphins, I think. This was a cool one. Stud earrings. Some chains. Some little pieces there. And some beautiful colors coming up. Look at that one. This was cool. I really wanted both of those, but no. That's a pretty one, too. Chains. Swirly earrings. Some. This is like a B. This looks kind of important, but not sure. Then you've got that other swirly earring with the rhinestones. And this guy. This is so pretty. Love this one. Love the colors. That one. Lots of gold tone kind of hoops. This guy is probably an Avon. This is Mark Chico's. Cute, cute, cute. Okay, I know this takes a while with the singles, but look at the rhinestones there, right? Let's see. Owl earring. Oh. And that one. Another enamel. A swirly piece. There's your other blue, red, white one I was talking about, and a rose earring. Look how pretty that one is. We've got some hearts, some purple. Whoops. This lovely green piece. All right, maybe I should give you some other things in this jar. How about a Druzy bracelet? Doesn't look like there's anything wrong with it, but I'm not sure why there's a hole right there, so I'm going to put that in. And we have a glass bracelet. That guy in. And here's some chains. This is like a big snake chain. Probably needs a polishing. All the clasps and everything are there. And then we have these... Not sure if it's a pendant or they're little charms, but they are very nicely made. Put those in. Some kind of bracelet. Some very beautiful glass on this piece. Yes, it does have this part on it, 
But look at the wedding cake beads, or actually the, yeah, I guess they could kind of be called that. So that could be useful. And I think there's one of these in the other jar. Oh boy. Okay, something about puppies, a nice rhinestone earring. This is gorgeous, this orange earring on brass. Here you have a chain with a pendant. And I forgot what this is called, it has like an H on it. So let me put that aside for a minute so I can show you. This, I'm not sure, I've got seed beads, some kind of snake earring that has two parts to it, a ring, an Avon bracelet that's seen better days, one of these, I think shirt sleeve holder uppers that I used to think were bracelets, and that is an earring, let's see, a smiley earring, feather piece that came off that other earring, some Christmas pieces, butterflies, all goes in, little cross piece, elephant, real pretty rhinestone on that one. This is really cool. I've got a moon earring, a faceted black glass, love this, love this. And a little bumblebee. Okay, this says LA and there's a sun. It does look kind of sterling, but I'm not sure. And let's see what this necklace says. It has this H on it. I know who that is. I've seen it before. I just cannot remember right now. So many things have happened in between when I saw this. So that's that necklace. There's really nothing wrong with it. Yeah, it just needs some cleaning. So maybe that'll turn out to be something special, I hope. Oh, this is a pear. Wow, these are beautiful. Okay, gotta keep those. Hmm, this one you think you matched them all up. Out come some others. This one I remember seeing, I think in here. Oh boy. This is a cute little tennis racket pendant. And a cute rat strawberry color earring. This is so funny. I don't know what that is. Let me just put all these little guys in my hand and show you. There's lots of earring backs and pieces and useful links to chains. This is very interesting. NRA. I did look these up and they do sell for about $15 to $20. It's all signed and everything. And we've got some more earring backs. And really beautiful French knot vintage earring. Some more bits and bobs. Rhinestone earrings. Little guys, hearts. This is a pretty one. And just lots of single earrings. I might be emailing some of you and saying, hey, can you send me that? because I found the other one. Here's another snake kind of thing, but different than the other. And another artisan piece. Earring. And this is cute. It's got some little pearls. So lots of little tinies. Oh, there's another one of those in there too. I saw that one. And look at that bead, isn't that cool? That glass bead. Let's give those a shake. Let's get those down in there. Let's see what else I might add. Because I really am 
I'm starting to think about this. Like, do I have the other one of these? I don't know. Cute little yellow flower. Here's another nice bead. Old glass and a green earring. We are full up on this one. Pretty sure. This is a beautiful crystal. That can go. Brand new gold stud earring. This feels like gemstone. Let me test that for you so you know what you got. And I'm just digging around a little. See what we can top it off with. Oh, little pair of handcuffs. I don't know if they're supposed to be earrings or what, but that's cute. And here's the wrench kind of going with that other hammer earring. So some more little bits and bobs and shiny pieces. Let's test this and see. This is glass, but it really looks jade, doesn't it? It's got a pretty color to it, I wonder. Oh, look, it lights up. So is that like a uranium glass pendant? That's pretty cool. Hmm. Well, I showed it to you, so I'm going to add it to the jar. I don't have the heart to take it back. So that is a nice jar for sure. A little bit of uranium glass in there too. Sorry to get in your way here. I'm just going to put a couple of these back. And that beautiful pear that I found. Okay, we have craft jar Corey, and she is looking marvelous. Put this back here. This on the top. And I wish I had like a. I wish I had that nice paper that I do put on top right in front of me. It just makes it easier. Maybe I'll grab a piece. Yeah, that's not too hard to do. It'll be a little crackly sounding, but this is what I do on the top of the jar. Pull that around so it makes it stay in nicely. And then I'll use some real tape, not this tape, you know, some real packing tape. And I'll tape over the top, okay? So this is Craft Jar Cory. This one will be 25 so let me know if that's the one you like, K-O-R-I. And I'll send that one along. Okay, now I thought I would show you. I tell you from time to time that I have all wearable jewelry jars on eBay. And this is one of them. It's really packed. A lot of the jewelry you've seen, some of it you haven't. But I don't know what to do with these as far as my channel. Should I just say, I have these jars, you can buy them at random, or do we want to put a number on this? And if you think it looks good from the outside, then you let me know. They're $39.99 on eBay. If you buy them here, I'll save some fees and it'll get to you without you having to pay shipping on eBay. So here's, let's just do this. We'll call this jar number one. And they are all $39.99, what I sell all the time on eBay. And if that one looks good to you, let me know. But I have loads of them. Okay, so if you ever want one, just let me know. Here is all wearable. We'll call this number two. So all wearable jar number two. I see some tiger's eye. I see some... Pretty stuff in there, some art glass, pretty earrings. Look at those pieces down there, huh? So this is jar number two from Sherry's eBay store. And this is jar, we'll call this number three. I just grabbed a bunch and brought them over. There's a pretty necklace on the bottom. Some lots of pretty earrings. I try to always put gemstones in here. And yeah, look at that piece. A nice piece on the top that you guys haven't seen. It's a painted wooden piece. It's gorgeous. So that's jar number three. And again, these are the $39.99 all wearable that I sell all the time on my eBay in my eBay store. Here's another all wearable. It's kind
kind of wiggly. And all the jewelry in here is nice. There's nothing missing. There's both earrings are there. It's just nice and clean, no issues with it for the most part. If I miss something, then, then I miss something, but usually I don't. So this has some a nice black and gold beaded necklace. I see some gemstones at the top. That was a cool piece. Lots of necklaces and yeah, just a lot of fun on this jar. Call this jar number four. But just remember I have these all the time. Anytime you want a jar of all wearable jewelry, just let me know and I can send you one for $39.99. And how many pieces of jewelry would you say are in there? I think there's a lot, a lot of jewelry in there. So probably much less than maybe 25 cents a piece of jewelry, I would think. So that's that part of things. Push these over because we're going to need some room for the big bags of jewelry. Let's see. I started an all wearable jar here. This is craft stuff. See what I mean? I have so much stuff. Okay, let's just put these aside for now. Let's get started with the all wearable. So what will be coming up are bags of all completely wearable jewelry. You know, I'm not going to say they're the most fantastic, but they're still wearable. They are, you know, there's nothing broken. They're perfectly wearable, so it depends what your style is. Now, our first bag is called Bruce Lee, and we're naming this bag for Sandra. I think her dog's name is Bruce Lee. So there you go, Sandra, a big wearable bag named for you. And again, anyone can buy the bag, so it's not about that. If you want to give me some names, just drop them in the comments and I'll be happy to write them down. Okay, so we have this necklace. I like this. Silver tone. It's got some darker silvery beads at the top. Real pretty chunky piece. Let's see how I can keep the noise away. At least the storm has died down a little bit. And look, the bracelet might go with it. Stretch is great. Lots of nice yummy cha-chas on there. Then there's this piece. This is really cool. I think it's on a stretch. Lots of beads and a nice pendant down there. Then we have these cute little turquoise color beads. It might be a kid's necklace with a safety closure, but it is wearable. You want to share with some kids. And look at this bangle, isn't that lovely? Neon orange, great bracelet. These are those beads that I thought were Mardi Gras, and they might be, but I'll tell you, when we get to the other set, I'll tell you more about them. But I think they are the better Mardi Gras beads, but nonetheless, and they are collectible, like someone said. So those go in, because they are still wearable. This is a necklace probably a cheek goes. No, it's not. It's a cold water creek. Sorry about that. And I love it. It's got brass findings, really well made. Looks like a faux stone and it comes down to this really pretty pendant. So I love that one. I would put it in my all wearable jewelry jars, but it would take up too much room. So that's the reason I do these bags. So let me back up a little because I forgot to explain that. The reason I call them big wearables is because if I put something in here that's big, it'll take up too much of the jar. And if I put something in my all wearable jars, these are much bigger and fatter, it would still take up too much of the jar. So that's why I came up with the idea of big wearable jewelry bags. So this is your next bracelet. Stretch is great, has some really cool clear lucite. And it has this coin necklace in here. This is cool, I just don't have the time to research and see what they go for. But they go for pretty good. And this is a beautiful one, so I thought I would put that in all wearable. 
wish I had more time to list on eBay. I just don't. And this is a nice black and white bangle. And this is a three-part amber sort of faceted um, acrylic bracelet with a great stretch. So, there we go with this one. What I'm trying to do is keep, keep the bags able to fit in these six by six boxes that I purchase. So, that's why they're the size they are. They fit very well in there, and I think it'll make shipping a little easier too. So we have a big wearable bag named Bruce Lee. We have a coin necklace, a cold water creek, the silver tone things, and I'll say 15 on this bag. All wearable jewelry bag, Bruce Lee for 15. Yay, we got that one done. Next is all wearable jewelry bag. Again, not craft, but wearable. And the name is Adam. And the name is for Megan. So Megan, here is your Adam name. I'll dump out the jewelry. Try not to make too much noise. Over here. Now first up, we'll have a whole bunch of bangles. They're kind of connected together, but they're in great shape. I just want to keep them in here so they don't tangle into everything. So multi-bangles. I saw a lady wearing these the other day and they look nice. Then we have this wooden piece, maybe has some seeds with it, not sure. Great condition. A black bangle that has some gold sort of swirled along to make it look, you know, a little bit textured or fancy. And then there's this magnetic piece that you can put a pendant on if you wish. So that's in good shape. A couple of red bangles, cute as can be. Then we have this necklace. This is cool. I would, I don't know if this is Chico's, I didn't Google it, but that's a shell right there. And the fish is fabulous. Look at the beads. They're quite heavy and brassy. And this is on a memory wire. So just a cool piece, I think. And I thought this would go nice with it. Not that I'm trying to match jewelry bags tonight, but isn't that a great bracelet? It just looks very um, old and authentic looking. Then we have this bracelet, another sneaky piece. It's like a silver tone. And there's two wooden, maybe these are anklets because they're a little bit on the bigger side. But those are pretty. And then this torsade piece is made of a wood. I'm pretty sure it's wood. Painted a certain color blue and twisted around and has this older hook on it. So I like that one. That's pretty cool. And then we have this piece that we got out of Rich Box Poor Box with those certain flowers. The chain is excellent. And that goes in. Oops, I almost forgot this one. I like this bracelet. I wanted to use it in my color matching jewelry bags, but nothing was coming up to go with it. So stretch is good, and these are pretty, really pretty. So you got that bracelet too. That's all wearable, Adam. And I will say. Hmm, we will do $12 on this, okay? So all wearable jewelry, Adam, $12. Give it a spin, off it goes. Should we do some more all wearables? I might really have to do two videos. I have so much. This is all wearable jewelry bag named Hercules. And Hercules is for Adriana. So Adriana, I hope you're watching. Here's your name, Hercules. I'm not sure if it's a grandson or a son, but I thought that was a great name. Okay, and this bag, we have this beautiful jewelry. I never can remember how to say these, the name of these nuts, but aren't they gorgeous? 
and they're on a nice ribbon, never worn, and a matching bracelet. So there you go on those. And then a silver tone bangle, a wooden beaded necklace, another wooden beaded bracelet. Then we have these little beads. They're kind of vintage, really tiny. And look at this bracelet. I love this one too. This is solid crystal right here. Really heavy. The beads are beautiful. The gold part is beautiful. It's ice cold and it's just heavy. Yeah, they're certainly crystal. And look how many facets are in them. So just beautiful. It is a little stiff, but it doesn't feel like it's going anywhere. But wow. Wouldn't that be a beauty? So I love that piece. I hate to see it go, but I'm happy for whoever gets it. A couple more bangles and a beautiful turquoise wooden bracelet. And for those of you who do like the paper jewelry, there's two bracelets of that. Here is that necklace from Rich Box, Poor Box. I don't know what it's made of. I did ask you guys if you knew. Feels a little bit rubbery. It's in good shape, so I'm not sure. Here is a wooden necklace with green beads in between and a bookmark with beautiful art glass on it. So that can go. And these are cool, these chevron bracelets. This one's in a coppery, sort of bronzy tone. This bracelet, I love this. It's big, it's chunky, it's gold tone, has loads of chains that are connected together and it has a toggle clasp. It's a beauty. So that goes in our big all wearable jewelry. And so does this beauty. This is, I think, three chains. And I'm not gonna take the time to untangle it. It's not terribly tangled. And it comes down to this locket. And it's a nice piece. But yes, I think there's three chains on each side. So another lovely piece in there. That is everything for big wearable Hercules. You've got the two gold pieces in there. The matching nut bracelet. Other piece. So for big wearable Hercules, I'll say $14. Okay. Give it a spin, and if you like this one, just let me know. Hercules for 14. Okay, I think let's go to craft because there may be some crafters waiting for some pieces too. This on my table. This is big craft bag, Teddy. So you've got to remember there's going to be a little something wrong with these pieces because they're in the craft bag. So this is called Teddy. And that name is for Jennifer. So Jennifer, I hope you're watching. And there's your name, Teddy. There we go with the craft. First we have this bracelet. It has lovely rhinestones. It's got some threading coming off. This is a great piece. Just needs some smoothing off. A little bit rough. Not bad at all. This is a gorgeous, maybe a choker. It's a pretty piece. Um, I don't even think there's anything missing. There may or may not be, but I don't know. I didn't know what to do with it. I didn't know if it was, it's probably supposed to look this way, but I wasn't sure. So I'm gonna put it in the craft bag. That way, if it isn't bad, you can wear it. This is super heavy. I thought maybe a stone went in there and I looked all over, but I never found it. So a gorgeous bracelet. And that goes in. Here's another chevron piece, but this one's a little more worn. And then there's this big stretch ring. Nothing wrong with it. It's got some butterflies. Looks very Betsy Johnson-ish, but there's no signature. That goes in. And then this bracelet's really pretty. I don't know if that's a designer, but you can see some of the copper coming through. 
This is a beautiful chain. I think it's a two-tier something. Let me remind myself here. Oh, yes, it goes like this. Beautiful piece. But I just felt like it had a little bit of wear. You can see some of the copper. I mean, a lot of us, I wouldn't mind still wearing this myself. But as far as selling it, I would want you to know it's perfect. So you could clean it up, maybe wear it again for a bit. It's a beauty. Or make something else out of it. Then we have this keychain, Seattle, Washington with the heart. And this oldie, I like this piece, but it needs a clasp on it. This, I don't know what it is. It's kind of too big to be a bracelet. I have no idea, but maybe it'll be usable. Then we have a little tiny pink bangle, nothing wrong, just too tiny. And here's that wild piece of chain that we got, I think in Rich Box, with a little piece of cotton thread on it. Just really cool, though, the chains. Maybe you could do something or repair a really old necklace. I love that. Very interesting. This is a necklace, a lovely bobbly piece. Has some really cool yellow crystals, but the chain is worn. This beautiful seed bead necklace. Oh, oh, oh. Wish I could have fixed this. Look at the colors. Beautiful bright blue. The seed beads are all in great shape. Has the button clasp. It just needs to be retied here to make the button part of it. So there goes that one. And then a bracelet with some yellow bits on it. The wind is whipping. This necklace is beautiful. It does look older. Let me see if I can find a clasp. I just couldn't get, see how there's still some yellow under this bead? I just couldn't get it clean. I didn't try very, very hard, but I think this is all glass. I know it's all glass. Let me see if there's any gemstones. It's all art glass, the whole entire thing. And it's of these beautiful pink and brown and black colors. Great, great necklace. Probably needs some soaking, but it's in the craft bag, so if you can't get it clean, then you won't be mad at me because it's a craft item, okay? Oops, and then there's some kind of holiday pin. I don't know, I thought maybe it would be useful, and it's not harming anyone on that card. Big craft teddy. Okay, we've got to get big craft bag teddy a price, and I'll say just do ten dollars on this so if you like all those bits and pieces for craft just let me know teddy for ten dollars it's not very nice writing dollar sign one and a zero okay all right big craft teddy for ten i've got one two three four seven bags <laughs> now we better do two videos Next is Big Craft, bag named Cooper, and Cooper is named for Sandra. I think that's another one of Sandra's beautiful little puppies. So I hope you're happy for your name, Sandra. And again, anyone can buy the bag. We're just having fun with the names. This bag has this bangle. Just, I don't know if it's got some wear on the edge or if it's supposed to be like that but I didn't want to take a chance so there's that one this bracelet's really cool I could think of a lot of fun things to put that with but the stretch is going so craft bag Cooper this piece oh my my I really like this but it's got some little divots in it here and there you don't usually see this yellow color, but isn't it pretty? So cleaned up, I don't know, but then you've got to touch up these little pieces. Pretty color, and this bracelet would really go with it too, but it needs a little TLC. Same color though. And then you've got to have a bunch of shells in every craft bag. So there you go with those. This is a clamper. 
Nothing wrong with it except there's a little copper coming through there. And we have a pair of earrings, but they're, they're stainless steel posts and you can glue something on them yourselves. And we have a couple of bangles. These look pretty nice. Hmm. Oh well, a couple of nice shiny bangles. This piece with the crystals, I don't think there's anything wrong with this either. I just didn't know what to do with it because, I don't know, it's like a copper color. It says Charming Charlie. I'm sure it's meant to look like that because the overall piece, the whole piece looks that way. So there's a Charming Charlie. Oh, I remember now. It has a little line right there. And I just wasn't sure about it. I can't feel anything with my nail. I don't see a crack anywhere, but anyway, in the craft bag it goes into Cooper. This, I have no idea what this is. Was it a slinky maybe? That like popped? I don't know. <laughs> but in it goes. You can have fun figuring that out and do let me know what it is. We have a little dragonfly. It's, I don't know what it went to. And a few more bracelets before I show you this beautiful piece at the end. Got this blue bracelet, this little bracelet here, and this is so pretty. I was sad to see this go, but it's missing a couple of rhinestones. <clears throat> I think this is an older piece. Then we have this very boho. Again, it's worn, but it might, maybe it's supposed to be, or maybe it's just old, but look at the pendant. Isn't that so pretty? Looks to be real brass, and it's on a leather cord. And then this looks like it would be a choker with some sparklies. And this is the statement necklace. Isn't this stunning? It's missing a couple of the big pieces here. Look at all the crystals you have to work with. All those turquoise colors, all these little ones all around the edges. If you wanted to take those off, or you could make this a pendant by itself. Just remove those rings right there. I mean, you guys know what you're doing with this stuff. But this could make a pendant and a pair of earrings. Take that, put it on there. That's what I would do. If I could do jewelry, I would definitely fix this. The chain is in pretty good shape, and the colors are beautiful. So this is Craft That Cooper, and we will say, we'll do $16 on this one, okay? So if you like Cooper for $16, let me know. Give it a spin. All right, everyone, it looks like I'm up to my neck in jewelry because the camera's so close. But that's as far away as I can get it right now. I'm about to make my thumbnail and to sign off for now. And then I'm going to go right on and record another video of lots more craft jewelry and all wearable. So I hope you'll tune in again next time. If you see anything you like, please email me at capecodebaygirl at gmail.com. And let me know the video name and the episode number. And in this case, you don't have to give me any timestamps. Just let me know the name of the jar or the bag and the price, okay? So thank you very much for that. And thanks so much for being here. Again, I hope you'll subscribe if you haven't. Give the video a like on your way out. And do let me know what you think of the craft jewelry in the comments. Is there anything else you'd like to see me add? Is there anything else you'd like to see me change? And do you think all of this stuff is reusable? I'd love to hear from you. So thanks so much, and we'll see you next time at the Bobbles. Bye.